All right. What's going to be first? Oh. Oh, the back's missing off it. It's a transit camper van. Martin Walter. That must be the name of the company that converted them, maybe, or something. I don't know. But you know what? I said before, um, Ben, if you're watching, ice cream van. This could be a good... This might be a better candidate than the other ones. That could be perfect, actually. All right. That's good. That's a good start this week. What's next? Oh, yeah, I saw this in there. These cars are dumb. I don't know, but I still might do it because it'll be... No, I don't know. The penguin. Wah, 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 wah. Formula 5000 super fast. I don't know if that's supposed to have glass or not. Can't remember. It's kind of cool. Only kind of though. Oh, another Lamborghini. Ah, now see. This is why we keep all of them. This one's had the engine hood busted off it. But it's got good glass. So we'll be able to make at least one good one out of all the Lamborghinis that have been in here. Another one of these. We had one of these before, didn't we? Oh, yeah, it's a Growler. Growler! But this thing's completely snapped off, which is a shame. There'll be no Growler hilarity this week. Yep, another Wildcat. This one's still got its decals. And to be honest, apart from it missing the motor, it's pretty good. Still got its tow bar. You know, like I said that other time, you want to do 10 second passes on the quarter mile with a caravan on the back. Oh, another one of these things. High tailor. With the tampo, the stickers are completely gone off it. It is belting down rain here, viewers. Oh, yes! I've been waiting to find one of these for years just for the interior parts in it because I've had this one in my collection for years that is um, very dusty at the moment because I've had it on my but it's in per pretty much perfect condition but it's unspun like the rivets were never formed over on it and um, it's got no interior. So now I'll be able to make a good one. I'll at least be able to put an interior in it. I don't know what else I'm going to do with it. That's cool. A couple XJ. Well, one XJS. What's next? What's next? Oi, another chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap one. That's nasty. Split window vet out of every proportion um, that's nasty okay let's move on oh yeah Mercedes saw this one in the picture but wasn't particularly bothered about it because it's let's be honest it's not the most exciting car in the world is it oh here we go another premium car with rubber tyres uh, Night Rider there you go, Scott. Huh, that's cool. It's even got the proper dashboard and everything in it. Oh, yes! Oh, I've been wanting one of these for ages. I thought... That, oh, okay, bust a window. I know you can get it. And I know um, Laz, at Lazilo Collectibles did one of these recently. The steering wheels. And I had one of these when I was, you know... Oh, geez. 20 years ago in my collection I tried repainting it but that was when I didn't know how to get them back together and didn't know it was before YouTube so now I've got a chance to make amends brilliant, I'm really excited to have found that in there they ruined this casting to make this um, and you can see it's still got the same casting lines and marks on it and technically the glass from this will fit this but it's green so it's not much good being green. 
It ain't easy being green. Oh, another crack up. This is the police car one, obviously, and it's had mechanism complete in it. Oh no, I mean, I gotta stop swearing. Yeah, smash and crack them up, and that's in pretty good shape, actually. You wouldn't restore it. Oh yeah, I thought, oh man. We've got another Capri, but um, he's seen some action. wonder if we can straighten that out because the glass hasn't cracked the glass. The glass is really good. But yeah, it's it's suffered some that one. This is the yeah the Saab Sonnet 4. Uh, the back thing is a bit crazed. Now I'm not a particularly big fan of that car. Oh, and just when you thought you weren't a very big fan of it, there's two of them. Should we go for three? Oh no. Oh, reg no? Oh, fun ho! Huh. Fun ho. KC could probably tell me if this is supposed to have glass in it. I know he's a bit of a fun ho fan. Um, Ford. Now it's a New Zealand company. Uh, That's pretty cool. What a bonus. Oh, here you go, Michael. The Lamborghini Marzal. I don't even know what colour that's supposed to be. Isn't it supposed to be pink? Is that damaged by the sun or is it... A, oh, it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, this is one I saw that I wanted. I don't have one of these. It's the, what do they call it? The Merc yeah, Mercury Cougar that has the rat rod decals on the sides of it. And again, it's the same motor that the Mustang has and all the others have. And the glass is okay. That's gonna come up good. That's great. Oh, another one of these things. I'm not even gonna go into that again. A bit boring. Oh, yeah, these, the, I can't even remember what this one's called, the Big Bull, grills damaged, yeah, that's probably going to stay like that, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, the beach, Baja buggy, missing the engine, now I think that engine's different, but don't quote me on it, is that a Nico pen paint job? Oh, here we go. Oh, Leak. Uh, it's the kennel truck. With the grills damaged on it. It obviously doesn't have the cover or any of the dogs. Uh, never mind. Uh, this thing called the Fire Chief. I always thought this was meant to be like based on a Dodge Challenger. Something about it said to me was that it's, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that car. Oh, another Plymouth Fury, like the one I restored for Gerard. <laughs> I saw this one in the picture and I thought from the colour, it's definitely the reissued one. It's not the original red line and it's not, it's the vintage. The one they redid. The number of these that turn up on eBay and people go, genuine 1968 Hot Wheel, because on the bottom of it says copyright 1968. It's not. It's from about 10, 15 years ago. It's not worth $120. It's worth about 50 cents. Okay? Alright, hang on. Okay. Uh, last two for tonight. I have to go in. Uh, the GMC motorhome uh, with the metal base, uh, black walls. I saw this in the picture and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cool if it had red lines? Because the red line one is worth about a thousand bucks. 
that's not, it's a black wall. Um, Renee gave me one of these to do as a green plastic base and the plastic base was that badly smashed on it. There was nothing I could do about it. And I did redo the decals for it, so I might be able to redo that one. <laughs> you remember how I did the rough trek the other day and I was complaining I didn't have a um, bull bar? <laughs> but this one hasn't got the tire thing in the back. Um, I did see this one in the picture and I thought, well, that's worth, you know. It's got a full bloody bull bar on it. Anyway, I know everyone was kind and said the spotlights looked, you know, looked all right. So, um, all right, what? Another XJS. This one's in much better condition. It's the brown one. All right. Well, thanks very much, viewers. All right, now I can tell you viewers that we are nearing the end of the box. There's only two more episodes to come after this one. Uh, so join me on Wednesdays at 9.15 for those. And I will see you on Friday at 9.15 for my regular video. Look forward to that. And uh, stay safe, be nice to everyone, and I'll see you then. Bye.